Hello, happy Monday, everybody. You know, from 1914 to 1963, there was only one high school at Anchorage, and the graduates that are still there meet once a month to plan their annual reunion. This is really special, and although they are far from their glory days, these meetings keep them all together with their close memories. Here inside the American Legion Post number one in Anchorage sits Alaskan living historians. This is a picture from 1925. That's the corner of 8th and I downtown. Wow. That's my grandmother and my, my dad and his siblings are in this. This table is filled with the wonderful living spirits of the past, Anchorage High School graduates. Memories. Memories. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. You can flip through yearbooks of time, but to hear it. And then we moved out to Chugach. Or fifth and sixth, and halfway through sixth, we started Denali. Hey, What's it called? The Anchor, and this is uh, 1959. It's the year 2023, but in here, it's Alaska Memory Lane. And I graduated in 1962 from East Anchorage High School. Oh, this is my class ring, the class of 59, so that was um, pretty cool. Wear it around my neck whenever I have my shirt on. <laughs> we hold on to what is dear because we don't know how long we'll be here. Oh, this is Elaine Cockabold, uh, one of our classmates that we recently lost. So these proud Alaskans? I need the new kids to understand this place didn't just pop up. It was created by all of us working together. Meet once a month the plan. Yes, the only school. And that's why this picnic is so valuable because we get to stay together. And this one hour a month, it's a joyous reminder of lives lived. In 1958, Faye was a part of the band. This is drum major Ed. Oh, there you go. Yep. <laughs> it was a fun, fun thing to be a part of. We were all young once, and things were so different, but yet comforting. A little place, a little log cabin on 8th Avenue. My bed was in the bathroom, and our refrigerator was an orange crate hanging on the windowsill. Carol here, she has a celebrity sibling. My brother was Red Dodge. He was a famous bush pilot in Alaska. He started flying in the 40s in uh, Barrow for World Airways. Back then, life, well, it was less complicated. We were nothing but free. We did, went where we wanted to go and did what we wanted to do. My and all these people, well, they're simply... We are Anchorageites. Thank you. And that's... Oh, oh, oh the story time. <laughs> this is wonderful. The All Good News. <laughs> now, uh, the 1914 to 1963 annual picnic reunion for people who went to Anchorage High is June 10th from 1 to 5 p.m. at the American Legion, post number one. It's uh, 30 bucks a person. And uh, the memories, by the way priceless. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I imagine. I mean, just to be able to look back through the pictures and to hear the stories of where they lived in Anchorage, that's just, yeah, priceless and really special. Yeah, it was fun. You're thinking about a thousand years of history and just in that room with the eight people, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or more. So a lot of fun. Thanks Very guys cool. for having me out. All right, here's Nora O'Donnell with what's coming up at five right here on CBS 5.